the fattest man in professional sports, a balloon and a fat tub of goo. June 22nd, the beefy relief specialist interrupts his pregame meal to call Letterman a big mouth and Johnny Carson's janitor. Matt as hell, Forster agrees to do the late night program on one condition. He gets to make chicken tacos. Sure, says Letterman, the floor has been reinforced and so tonight they meet for the first time ever. Coming up next, in stereo. that on a map appears to be much smaller than it really is. It's Late Night with David Letterman. Tonight, baseball player Terry Forster, Rambo co-star Julia Nixon, and comedian John Biner. Also, small town news and a look at staff vacation photos. And now, a man who is the father of shuttle diplomacy, David Letterman. Folks, thank you very much. I hope you had a good weekend. We got a great show tonight. Are you excited, Paul? Yes. Take sir. it about here. One, two, one, two, three, four. Thank you very much. We, uh, <laughs> but you can feel it, can't you? There's something in the feel air tonight. In the building. You can feel the electricity building. That's right. <laughs> and as I pointed out earlier, we're coming to you tonight from the electricity building. So, thank you very much. You know, uh, you may not be aware of this uh, around the country, but here in the tri-state area, the tri-states being New Jersey, Connecticut, New York, which is also the Empire State, uh, we're in a water shortage, a drought shortage. And uh, so they're advising you to be careful with your water. So I'm skeptical of this. So I, I conducted my own experiment last night. Before I went to bed, I turned on the shower full blast. <laughs> I go to bed, I go to sleep. I get up this morning around noon. <laughs> There is still plenty of water left. <laughs> ah, water shortage. <laughs> so now, uh, Mayor Koch, a couple of months ago, gets a letter about the water. He says if Bernard Getz is not turned loose. Bernard Getz was the guy who caused the trouble on the subways, and uh, he, he'll come to trial before the turn of the century. Now, <laughs> in the meantime, uh, Mayor Koch gets a letter saying if Bernard is not cleared of all charges and released, this person is going to put plutonium in New York City's <laughs> water supply. Now, this caused some concern among people who drink the New York City water, and that in itself should be a concern. But <laughs> So now uh, the New York Times gets into this, and they conducted their poll over the weekend, and they polled 2,000 people, and I think we all know just how painful that can be. <laughs> and... Uh, Okay, the results of the poll of people who drink New York City water, 80% said not only do they like the way New York City drinking water tastes, they actually prefer it to New Coke. <laughs> Stop it. Now, where were you? Well, I could have used some help there. And another thing, your posture is terrible. <laughs> well, Rutgers, another big announcement from across the river, Rutgers University, a paleontologist now has found remains of a previously unknown primate in, uh, where was it, Paul, Turkey? Yeah, Dave, yeah. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so reporters said, well, this is an unbelievable find. They asked the professor if he couldn't uh, place the, uh, the primate somewhere on the evolutionary scale so we could figure out what it was like. And he said, well, the, the uh, primate would be somewhere roughly between a chimpanzee and an MTV VJ. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, it's, just a... <laughs> it's 
It's only a joke, kids. Now, say hello to our good friend, Mr. Paul Schaefer. Wow, thank you so much. Dave, I, I want to clear something up now because, you know, it's already starting to happen. I don't like to see it happen. It's nothing really, but, you know, so there are some pictures surfacing now, some photos that I took earlier in my career. <laughs> they, they were, uh, you know, very tasteful, but they were nude shots. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of photographers, well, there was one photographer. Now there's another photographer who says he's got shots. And... I signed a release. I don't know why. Are these art know. shots, Paul? Well, they're very tasteful. Tastefully done. They're just in silhouette, a lot of them. Uh-huh. There are some... There are a couple of shots with another woman. Another and woman in this? Yeah. And uh, it was just... I was just experimenting. You were a kid. You know? I was a kid, and I needed kid, the money needed at the time. Money. So, you know, uh, you may be seeing some of those, and I just wanted to kind of get that out of the way and say that I don't have anything to hide. Do you, do you smell with. Chinese food, by the way? I was smelling that. I do smell some Chinese Why? Is there a reason why we have Chinese food here? Terry oh, Terry Forster, of course. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's just... Oh. No. I, I met him... <laughs> I met him earlier. He's a, he's a very nice man, by the way. But uh, Terry is actually going to uh, cook uh, something for us tonight, and I guess that's what it is. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, and what else are we doing? Anything else we have to cover? We're starting Oh, we're in stereo. Week. We're really in stereo now, aren't we? Oh, now we're, now we're really in stereo. Is the band in stereo tonight? Now we're in trouble. Well, we don't know. We're looking for a reading on that. We believe, yes, that the band is in stereo. We think we're in stereo. Yeah. We Outside think. of the studio? Uh, everywhere where the NBC network reaches out, it's Potentially. firm hand. Yeah. And, uh, but it's and not grasps. just... It's not just stereo. It's what that it? special RCA stereo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Something wrong with my drinking water tonight. This must be that plutonium stuff. Uh oh. It tastes like perfume. There's been a mistake with the drinking water. Barbara, what happened to the water? Who flavored it? <laughs> oh, Perrier. Perrier people. This flavored Perrier yeah. is what that is. I'll put that over there. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting ready for my big date. Um, it's like drinking perfume, this stuff. I mean, I, I mean that in a good way. <laughs> okay, here we go. We, it's time for small town news, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, news items of interest from uh, small publications from all over the United States. I, enjoy them with me now, if you will. Our first item comes to us from that small city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> what? Uh, this is from the News Gleaner. And we have an ad for Sacco's Lumber and Home Center. Super Sandwich Specials. Yeah, give me a couple of those pressure-treated two-before, some particle board, and uh, a tuna hoagie would be good. <laughs> this comes to us from the Cambridge, Nebraska Clarion. Uh, I guess in Cambridge, Nebraska. We have a photograph here of a man. Uh, it's an, adver uh, an advertisement uh, at your service. Leon O'Brien, our farm fuel specialist. Leon is standing there next to a truck which clearly reads flammable. And if we get a nice tight shot of Leon, I think you'll see that he's got himself a butt going there. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a specialist. Sometimes the rookies are actually afraid to smoke on the job, but a real specialist knows what he's doing and can get away with that. Uh, okay, this is something from the Daily Citizen, Linton, Indiana. And it's an advertisement for The Grill, their Thursday special, Roast Pork Manhattan. You know, there's not many bartenders still around who know how to mix one of these babies. It's just a little salt on the rim of the glass, I think. Now, you're not going to believe this one. You're going to think we've done something odd to it, but we haven't. And, uh, and it's from The Whale, the Sag Harbor publication in Long Island. It's an advertisement for some hair... That's right. So, so uh, just let them know beforehand so they can adjust the chair. Okay. <laughs> no point in going on now. 
Here's something from the producer in Seminole, Oklahoma, Snow Cones at Seals Motel. Where do you want to stop for the night, honey? Let's see, no swimming pool, no cable TV, no air conditioning. Hey, wait a minute, Snow Cones! <laughs> That's right, $2 off, by the way. Uh, Summer Week, Lakes Region, New Hampshire is the publication. McDonald's, Ample Dining Room, Highway Restrooms. Now, are they really highway restrooms, or are they just like highway restrooms? <laughs> or are they just highway quality restrooms? Doesn't make any difference. This is from the Beacon News, Paris, Illinois. It's an advertisement for Johnson's Bait Store. Come to Johnson's Bait Store for your Mother's Day gift. <laughs> Get a $10 gift certificate for $8. Dear Mom, hope you enjoy this carton of green. Uh, here's something from the Greene County, New York News, uh, peanut predictions. Children in the Cairo Elementary School recently practiced prediction. The students predicted how many peanuts were in their shells. They finished their science experiment by eating the peanuts. Apparently those stories about the quality of American education slipping are a lot of baloney. <laughs> All right, and we have time for one more. How much time do we have? Do we have time for one? Sure, we got plenty of time. We got a big show tonight. A lot of fun, a lot of excitement, a lot of magic, a lot of glitter. A lot more of this kind of crap. Uh, this is from the Summer Week, Lakes Region, New Hampshire. Didn't we just do that? Oh, what the heck? It'll be, it'll be just as funny the second time around. It's an advertisement for Thea's Restaurant. Complete takeout menu, beautiful dining room with waitress service, plenty of park benches for motorcyclists. You are welcome. Sure, you're welcome. Just don't come indoors with us decent folks, okay? <laughs> All right, that's it. <clears throat> okay, here's the show tonight. We have a, this is gonna be a great show. Terry Forster is here from the Atlanta Braves. Julia Nixon is here from Rambo. John Biner is here, and also another installment of staff vacation photos. Please, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Let them know so they can adjust the chair. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a fine athlete. He is a relief pitcher with the Atlanta Braves. <laughs> he has a record of one win, two losses, one save, and an earned run average of 1.82. Very good. He also claims to weigh 210 pounds, which we all know is a lie. Please welcome <laughs> Terry Forster. to see you, Terry. Oh, by the way, thanks, nice to meet thanks you. Thanks for being here. Have a or seat. nice to meet you. Nice oh, to now, meet come you. Come on, here. Just sit down. There you go. There's All right. <laughs> what is this? A little snack? What do you got there, Terry? Well, I was walking by my fifth deli of the day today. Uh -huh. <laughs> I looked in and I saw a David Letterman sandwich. Uh -huh. And you went and for had, it. Yeah, it had a lot of tongue on it. Uh -huh. But you know... <laughs> Now, uh, when, when this started, when the, the night that I said uh, I'd seen you playing over the weekend and I made reference to how large I thought you were on TV, now, now did that upset you? Did you get mad? Well, honestly, the last time I remember you was in L.A. in the mornings, okay? And I don't know what happened to that show. We won't get into <laughs> well, that. No, that's it. But, right? <laughs> but then they said, did you listen to David Letterman last night? Yeah. And I, honestly, I thought they were talking about somebody in the morning, Hartman. Mm -hmm. And oh, I said... Oh, the guy in the Good Morning America, David yeah, Hartman. your yeah. buddy there. Yeah. And I said, well... <coughs> He's also mad at us. Uh, that's what I figured. Yeah. That's why I got all my material tonight. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but anyway, they brought it in. I said, no, David Letterman. I said, David Letterman? I said, I thought he was canceled a few years back. Honestly, I didn't know he had a show. But since then... <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but since then, you know, I... Uh, I know you have a, one heck of a following. Uh, everywhere I go, people are talking about it. Uh, you knew I had a following, but didn't think I had a show. <laughs> so, okay, Just now... Just like me, I got a heck of a following here and there, and I ain't got a show. Yeah. Uh, but now, you, were you angry about it when you found out what was going on? Well, the first 
nine or ten times I saw it on tape, our coach Bobby Wine brought it in, I thought it was real funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then about the last 20 or 30 times I saw it, <laughs> and everybody was talking about it, I said, well, I don't know how this is going to go over. But I came home that night, and, you know, I, I realized my wife says worse things about me. Yeah. Well, now, now I met your wife. She, seems, she also seems like a very nice woman. You know, she's in the back, but I wish that uh, she'd come out, you know, and at least show her face just to show people, you know, in the States and the world that, even fat people can get she's a, beautiful she's girls. She's a very nice-looking woman. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, you know, the, the night I was talking about it, uh, and I was, it just started out as kind of a joke, and then I'm driving home, and I thought to myself, wait a minute, I just went on uh, network television, <laughs> or, or at least NBC, um, <laughs> and, and I called a man a fat tub of goo. And, and, and regardless of how funny or not funny a person might think that is, I if you start thinking about it, that's not a real flattering thing to say. Well, the whole thing was this, David. You know... My first reaction after I'd seen it the first ten times is, man, that guy dogged me, and I'm going to go after him, and I'm going to sue him. Mm -hmm. Come in with and your then, spikes up. Yeah, and then after, you know, I took a shower and I looked at myself You, you were going to sue me? Yeah. I said, no, the guy's right. How can I sue him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to say something, you know, I haven't always been this big. I would want everybody to know that. That's an interesting it point. Just, it just snacked up on me. Snacked up on you. Okay, Terry. Um... Uh, now, we have a, uh, uh, a baseball card of yours. Here's Terry Forster right there. This is what, when you were with, with the White Sox? Yeah. Did you come up with the White Sox? Was yes, that your sir. first major league team? Yeah. All right. Nice looking young man. And this was, um, what is the year here? It's way back. Way 30s, back. 40s. <laughs> no, 1971. Okay. Okay, 1971, 14 years ago. 210. That's your weight when you're broke in. 210. All right. Now, here's, here's, a, here's your current card. <laughs> Here's your current card right there, Atlanta Braves. By the way, the Braves are not doing as well as people had hoped for them this year, are they? No, we're, we're not. You're having a pretty good season, but the team's not doing that well. Okay, this is the current card. Weight, 210. <laughs> it's amazing what a little money will do for you. <laughs> now, now, what do you weigh? Well, I weigh probably between your weight <laughs> and that, uh, what is it, Jumbo the Elephant on the uh, <laughs> Barnum and Bailey Circus, and I think I'm probably closer to the elephant's weight right now. But, uh, but uh, would it be safe to say that you're over 250? Watch it, I'm sitting close. <laughs> would, are, are you, do you weigh that much? Are you the biggest man in, in organized ball today? <laughs> well, you know what, David? It took me 33 years to get here, so I hope so. <laughs> but uh, I really couldn't tell you. I know there's some, even a couple on our team that are close, but... Uh, now, who's close on your team? I can't mention any names. They told me if I did, they'd never, ever catch a ground ball for me again. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't, you don't, <laughs> you don't need that aggravation. You know, I tell you who's I've noticed, and people here are going to get upset, but it's true. The guy who's playing with the Mets has had a wonderful career, and a uh, Hall of Famer, Rusty Staub, is a little heavy. Yeah, but he can swing the bat. He can still swing, but he's, he's yeah. also a balloon. There's no getting around it. Well, he can be the balloon. I'll be the tub of goo. All right. Uh, all right, now, uh, Terry, Mr. Forster here is actually going to cook something for us. What are we going to make tonight, Terry? Uh, well, let me get this stuff out of my pockets. Oh, okay. <laughs> I well, don't know if I was going to be cooking for the recipe, that. we'll be right back with Terry Forster. Uh, Forrester, and I, are you going to actually make something here? Can yeah, you? I'm going to make some uh, beef tacos and chicken tacos do you, for you. Do you make these at home? Don't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, uh, let's just begin. You heat up some oil. Yeah. Well, the first thing you do, anybody that eats at my house, is they get, have to have a plenty of liquids in them. Because mm -hmm. if they don't, I don't know if it's my food doesn't taste that good or what. So here's how I started out. Plenty of liquids when you're dining with Terry Forrester. Plenty of liquids. And the more you drink, the more you drink, the better it is. The better it gets, it. yes, yeah. sir. Okay, now here's how we're going to start it. I want to make sure the grease is hot, so stand back a little bit. Perfect. Oh, right. very nice touch. I like how you All did right, that. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go for the tomatoes. Boy, these, these look like vine-ripened tomatoes, too, don't they? They're great. <laughs> yes, sir. They look sir. good. I'll tell you, you hold it and I'll cut. No, Terry, you go no. ahead. <laughs> All right, just like this. I want to say something that my cooking at home, since I've been cooking at home, I should say is that my dog is quick begging at the table. <laughs> okay, just like this. Now, do you ever uh, eat anything in the bullpen? 
Uh, we're not supposed to, but I mean, like this right here wouldn't even be a snack for us guys in the bullpen. Is that right? Not even a snack. Now, how does how does that work? Do you bring it with you to the park, or do you actually eat the stuff in the ballpark? Well, what we do is we get somebody coming to us. You know, like somebody wants a uh, baseball autograph ball and say, "Hey, you have the ball and five bucks. Go get us four hot dogs." <laughs> 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 All right. So you lure some kid to the bullpen. Not always young kids either, David. Just just guys. <laughs> Men and women, they'll come and they'll get you ball, uh, go to the and get your hot dogs. Yeah, primarily that's it. Uh, very rarely we will have any beer down there. Because a lot of times in the bullpens in the bullpens they don't sell uh, alcoholic beverage beverages out there. Just but you you time. have had beer in the bullpen. Have you ever been sipping on a like a large tub of beer and, and had to go in? Uh not necessarily, no. I know when I'm going to pitch, uh -huh. and that's never now. <laughs> so you got your uh, time Ouch. free there. Yeah. yeah. I know, like when you throw one time in 19 games, Yeah. but the team's been winning. Okay, where okay, do, now, where do you want to try this? Just slice it like that. Now watch it. This knife is really, no, no, really I don't, I'm sharp. No, I'm not so much concerned with slicing tomatoes. I think we've all sliced tomatoes. Are you we, sure? We want to see not you make the, the tacos. Way. Okay, here we go. Now, the, these are sliced. Where are the tacos at? Here they are. Tortillas, these are, corn tortillas, flour These are flour tortillas, flour tortillas right flour here. Tortillas. Now you can have them hard or you can have them soft. Mm -hmm. What do you prefer? Hard. Good. All right, and we're on our way. <laughs> okay, now Which stand back. Which ballpark has the best food? Well, see, I've been on the disabled list so much. That's probably one reason why I ballooned up. I like uh, Houston. Houston, why? Because uh, they have big tubs of beer for a buck seventy-five. Mets is outstanding. Yeah, what do you have out of Shea Stadium? Oh, I've been pitching out there sometimes where I won't even go in the clubhouse. I go right behind home plate and get the basket of Robin's ice cream. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, they know, I tell you, they know me at all the concession stands throughout the league. Now stand back, you just might stand spit back. at you. Yeah, might spit. I won't spit at no, you, but this might. Not. Okay. Now just count. Oh, four, yeah, that oil is blazing five. hot. Now here we go. <laughs> Do it again. What are we doing? Count, Counting to, count to four or five. One, two, three, four. Five. You got it. Okay, there now. Go. All right. We're going to stick it. Put it put it back in the pack with the others. <laughs> now, this one's yours. It's <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to put it down and just get the grease off for yeah, you. Good. I like more grease, the better it is for you. But <laughs> <laughs> Me and my daughter, Andy, that's how we are. How old's your daughter? Well, I have three of them. Mm -hmm. Kimmy's 11, Andy's 10, and Whitney's 11 months. Did, did they ever mention that maybe you could drop a couple of pounds? Or? Well, the only thing they mention is, you know, is my cooking, believe it or not. Yeah, they like the cooking. Uh, they miss it. The more they miss it, the better they like it. Okay. All right, here how we are we go. doing here on time? One minute, okay, so okay, you, now you here fold them over. Fold them over, just yeah. like this. Now you put any kind of ingredients you would like in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. But you haven't, you haven't cooked the beef yet. Oh, it's already cooked. Oh, okay. We cheated. All right. What well, do you like, beef or chicken? Well, I like uh, chicken. <laughs> I kind of guessed that. Here we go. All right, now here we go. I'm going to use my hands since I just washed them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday. All right, tomatoes, you like tomatoes? Yeah, I love tomatoes. All right. Well, look at this. I mean, I think you could do this, David. Yeah, I Onions? might be able to. Uh, yeah, I love onions, sure. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Now, now load up some sauce on there. I will, I will. All right. Now, will you supply people the recipe if they write in for this job? I a matter of fact, I'll, I'll even make it for him. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, now, a lot of hot sauce. Hot, put some hot sauce on there. All right. All right. A lot of hot sauce. All right. Now, there's the uh, beverage. Now, like I said, the more you drink, right. the better you're going to like it. Bill, uh, see if this woman will come down here and taste this. Right there on the <laughs> other. Right over here. Oh, don't back over. Hi, how are you? You're a vegetarian. Oh, well, we Terry can do Ford. that, too. Here we go. Well, make her up a vegetarian. All right, get, here we Give go. me somebody else who doesn't mind eating a little chicken there. Uh, what's your name? Molly. Molly, where Molly? are you from? California. Uh, what part of California? Uh, most recently, Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara. You know, Terry used to pitch for the... Uh, oh, Dodgers. sweetheart. Hi, what is your name? Kathy. Kathy? Yeah. Terry Forsyth. How are you, honey? Bill. Remember this. Bigger is better. <laughs> All right. Really is right. So he's going to get you a vegetarian taco, and then uh, what is are we it, doing? Onions, is that a vegetable? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, How now. are we doing? Is that about it here? Okay. There we go. Let, at least... One hot sauce? Yes. 
Lots? Here, why don't you go ahead and try this other yeah, one? Yeah, you try that one. A That's a little. Great, perfect. Would you like some rubber gloves? <laughs> oh, God. Boy, this is a handsome-looking taco here, Terry. This is, this, look, at, look at this vegetarian job Terry has cooked up. Mm, boy, oh, boy. That's, well, you know, that's for her. She looks thin. If it was me, I'd be having right, the whole thing. All right, I'm sorry, but that's it, and he's making them. So, well, good luck to you. Nice meeting you. You too. <laughs> nice meeting you also. Did you eat that? How is it? All right. Terry, thank you very much. All right. Have a nice season and come back any time, sir. Okay. Terry Forster, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up in this half hour, John Biner will be here and also Julia Nixon from the film Rambo. Tomorrow on this program, Dick Cavett will be here and also Pee Wee Herman. That will be tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's time now for another installment of Staff Vacation Photos. We recently completed, uh, completed a vacation. We have members of our staff. They have uh, vacation photos. Let's get right to them, shall we? Our first uh, participant is Mr. Kevin Kay, the man who does all of our cue card work. Kevin, nice to see you. May I have your photos, please? Where did you go on vacation, Kevin? Uh, Cape Cod. Cape Cod? How long did you go up there? Yeah, about a week. For what? Just uh, fishing and relaxing by the beach and stuff. All right. Took the whole family? Yes. All right. Tell me about your photos, Kevin. Uh, well, that's as we were leaving. That's the view from uh, my rearview mirror. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my daughter, Jill. Your daughter who? Jill. Your daughter, and, uh, Jill. Very Oprah cute toys. young lady. So this is looking out of your rearview mirror. Yeah. Uh -huh. A safe motorist is a happy motorist. <laughs> All right. And this is the exterior of the car? Uh, yeah. That's we stopped to pick up our friends, and uh, they couldn't fit their duck in their car, so uh -huh. <laughs> we tied them on top of ours. And uh, they always travel with the duck? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, this duck is obviously for the Kids? For the kids, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it looks nice up there, too. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> you see, I ought to send this idea to Leah Iacocca, maybe a new model in the offing. All right. And then here you are. This is actually at? Uh, this is at Hyannisport. We took uh -huh. a road ride, and uh, I think you can see the Kennedy compound there. Yeah. <laughs> that, that telephoto lens is really beginning to pay for itself, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh... And you had nice weather? Yeah, just about like that. It was just, terrible. Just about like that, huh? And uh, did you enjoy your vacation? Not really. Okay, Kevin. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm, uh, I'm glad to hear about uh, your excitement up there in uh, Cape Cod. Now, who's next on the list? Oh, Meryl Marco, one of our uh, fine writers here on the program. Meryl, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> where, where did you go on your vacation? I went to uh, Malibu, California. Uh -huh. And did you have a nice time? I had a wonderful time. What did you do there? Oh, all kinds of uh, exciting things. Well, why don't we get to get the photos? Get right to the photos, okay. All right, well, uh, one of the things, one of the highlights of the vacation was this little barbecue here. That's a picture of my boyfriend mm -hmm. who was setting up the barbecue, and he had kind of a different approach, which was to cover the deck with individually flaming briquettes. Mm -hmm. I think you can see them there all over the deck. <laughs> it's kind of beautiful. It, it looks to me like he's doing all he can to extinguish the fire. <laughs> he could have been burned beyond recognition. <laughs> Yes, he could have been. Uh -huh. And here, here you are making light of him. <laughs> and taking photos at the time. Yeah, that's right. You, you were certainly a big help, weren't you? All right. What is this next photo? Uh, well, that's, that's my uh, boyfriend trying to drown our dog. No, no, no. <laughs> no, he was forcing the dog into the water and trying to drown it. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, well, sure. And uh, again, you, the first thing you thought to do was take a picture. Take, take a yeah. photo. Well, you have to have evidence when uh -huh. you take him to court. There he is forcing the animal into the water. Uh-huh. The animal looks like he's enjoying himself. Well, the animal is having a horrible time. As you can see, he tried to escape in this next photo. The animal is returning as quick as he can. This Are you sure this isn't something from marine land? <laughs> well, it looks like you had a wonderful uh, vacation, and I'd love to go on talking with you, but it's time to play our game. So, uh, who's next here on the big list? Oh, Robert Morton. Now, this is two, uh, two in a row you've joined us, Bob. Yeah. Last time, where did you go? Uh, last time, yeah, I went to uh, California. I think it was. California. Yeah. That's right. And, and yeah. now you're back, and, and you had a really nice trip this time. Very didn't nice you? Trip, Where did yeah. you go? I went to uh, Spain and I went to England. All right. So we should terrific. have some very nice photos here. Uh, Spain and England. No, these aren't Spain and England. What happened was I, <laughs> I had some some a roll of film lying around the house, and when I went to develop my my vacation pictures, I I took this other roll that was just in a drawer someplace, and uh, when I went to pick up the pictures an hour later. Uh, the guy said, well, one of your roles didn't come out. I assumed it was the role that was in the drawer. Sure. Uh, I got home, and I opened up the envelope, and it was pictures of my ex-girlfriend. Mm. Uh, so oh, the so vacation pictures didn't come out, but the ex-girlfriend did, so we might All as well right, sure, look at that. All right, sure. Let's take a look at those. <laughs> Yeah. That's uh, that's my ex-girlfriend Christine uh, by the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the water looks good. You well, can't see Christine, so I guess that's that's okay. 
Uh, now, this was sort of a vacation, though, isn't it? Sort of a vacation, yeah. How long ago uh, was this? This was a couple years ago. A couple years ago. Uh, here's Christine. I think you have to flip it around. Uh, the other way. That's, <laughs> it's Christine uh, in the sun. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. and, when, and when did you kids uh, break we up? We haven't seen each other for like two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. Is this uh, painful? Uh, uh, no, it's quite through? easy, actually. <laughs> okay. It's a pleasure to get them out of the drawer. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Here's Christine, Christine on the, uh, the porch mm -hmm. wearing a bikini. What, what is Christine doing now? Have you seen uh, her recently? She's a married woman. Oh, she's married? That, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Christina, my cousins, Gloria and Abby. <laughs> Christine would like that picture, probably. She would like this one? Sure. Yeah, well, she yeah. Can have that one. Do, you, sure. do you know the guy my she cousin. married? Uh, no, I, I know of him. I don't you know, know of him? him. Yeah. Uh, you know what Christ he does for a living? Uh, family business. Oh, family business. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nice guy? I've never met him. I, yeah. I hear good things about him. Okay. Uh, here's Christina and a, a private keep-off sign. I, it, was a, it was a little joke at the time. Well, this certainly has new meaning for you, doesn't it? This, this, this. Okay. Well, Robert, it's, uh, it's very brave of you to bring these photos on, but I, I appreciate your cooperation. All right, well, sure, I'll be happy to keep going. Uh, all right, who's next here on the big wheel of fun? Oh, it's uh, Barbara Gaines, our production assistant. Now, is this the first time you've ever been on the show? No. Okay. <laughs> I was typing. Oh, happy. that's right. You had the big type-off challenge. That's right. Yeah, okay. And where did you go this time, Barbara? You always take nice vacations. This time I went to Morocco. Uh-huh. And this is you where? I think it's in Marrakesh. Mm -hmm. It might be Fez. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the building you're in front of? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. And you have a little... Some, uh, some Muslim place. <laughs> 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 so you, you read all the brochures while you were there, apparently. <laughs> Uh, and this, uh, tell me about your little little hat here, little festive hat. What is that? It's my traveling straw hat. No, this this peak back here. That's the sky. Oh, that's a, it's an optical illusion, then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Looked like one of the cone heads on vacation for a minute there. Okay, that's you in in where? You, Morocco, Fez, somewhere Marrakesh? You don't know. I think it's Marrakesh. Okay. What's this? That's the water supply. This is for all of Morocco or just? It's either Marrakesh, Fez, Meknes, or Tangier. I can't remember. Uh -huh. um, and uh, how did the water seem to you? Did you drink the water? Uh, uh, just a little bit. I got sick in Morocco. Uh -huh. We and see, they, they, um, they wash their cars in the same water that they drink. Yeah. <laughs> and, and apparently other things. Donkeys, they swim in it, they do yeah. the laundry in it, they do tanning in it. It's good water. Okay. Well, nice to have you back safe and sound. That's Barbara Gaines, ladies and gentlemen. Now this brings up Peter Fadovich. Pete, I believe this is the first time you've helped us out with uh, vacation photos. Yes, sir. Are you excited? Oh, very much. All right. <laughs> what did you do on your... <laughs> what did you do on your vacation, Peter? I stayed at home stayed and at I'm home. redoing my kitchen. Okay, and here's... <laughs> People like the kitchen, and I believe this is uh, the before photo, isn't it? Well, my wife didn't like it. That's so the before. I had to redo it. Okay, and here you are, hard at work. That's it. What are you doing there, Peter? I'm sanding the ceiling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here I'm putting up wallpaper. Okay. It's not easy. No, it's not easy, Peter. Now, see the breakfast room. That's <laughs> this looks done. very nice. This is finished. Yeah, that's Made a very nice just one side. Okay. Here I'm taking out the cabinets. Mm -hmm. And uh, roughly, what time of day would this have been, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and here, this, there's a shot where I have to take all the dishes out uh -huh. and sand all the inside and varnish the inside. Did you enjoy this? Oh, I loved it. Okay. What are you doing there? I'm putting uh, varnish on the, on the doors. Uh -huh. I had to take all the hardware out. And this is when it was Ooh, done, the cabinets. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and this is, uh, I had to replace a window. Uh -huh. And I broke every little window there and replaced <laughs> all of it. Okay. I had a heat gun. Okay. And it would pop. Yeah. And here I'm making two hamburgers. That's my big night out for <laughs> dinner. <laughs> and it rained. That's why I have the umbrella. That a hamburger for you and the dog. Yes. All right, very nice. And you had a good time. Oh, love it. Well, I appreciate you sharing it with Thank us, Peter. You, sir. Thank Thanks you. to everybody. Thank you, Merrill. It was a very nice little story. Robert, I'm sorry about this girlfriend mix up. Barbara, thank you. Kevin, nice to see you. Thank you, sir. And uh, we'll be right back after a uh, commercial with John.
very funny man, John Viner. Terry, here. a little food left over from the ball yeah. player. <laughs> nice to it's see you. Amazing. You look good. You Thanks, feel good. I feel good. I am good to see you, ladies. Nice night. <laughs> you just got good married. To see you. Yes, I did. And? And uh, she's a woman. <laughs> I'm happy to say. Nowadays, you never know. You it know? takes courage to admit that. <laughs> uh, and uh, where did you meet this I woman? I met this woman in Yugoslavia, of all places. Mm -hmm. I was doing a picture over there with Jeff Goldblum and Ed Begley called uh, the uh, Transylvania 6 5000. And this lady showed up. Uh, this person showed up, actually, at 3 o'clock in the morning to play a mummy. And uh, she was all wrapped up in gauze. You're shooting the film at 3 in the morning? Yeah, you know how it is. Out there, people holding torches and ghoulish kind mm -hmm. of a, yeah. a, by a castle. And it's 3 o'clock in the morning. And this person shows up. And uh, she's in this coffin waiting at the top one. She's nervous. And I'm calming her down. I'm singing like, Dean, Roy, turn to me. And that goes. <laughs> she's no, oh, that's my friend. I'm singing to her and talking to her. She's got little accents, real sweet. She's a Yugoslavia. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so you get sloppy. You remind me of Steve Allen sometimes. <laughs> you say, go on, yes, and you came, yes. And, um, <laughs> and yes, I did come here. And, uh, and uh, I, it came time for the cameras to roll, and I unwrapped her, and I was, fell in love with every yeah. turn of the just gorgeous lady. Her name is Ksenia. I'm sorry, it's what? Ksenia. It's like sneezing. How do you spell Ksenia, that? Ksenia, K-S-E-N-I-J-A. -S -E uh -huh. It means welcome stranger. And she... And <laughs> it does. <coughs> That's really uh, what it means? <laughs> yes. And uh, born and raised in Born and uh, raised in, in uh, Split, uh, Yugoslavia. And she's, uh, Split is the city? Yeah, well, it was, it was uh, Zagreb where we shot the film, but yeah. she was born and raised in Split. She's an actress uh, from National Theater. She's moved Speaks to the United States? Speaks five languages. Yeah, one uh, luckily is English. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> Yes. And uh, she's got a seven-year-old daughter and, uh, who doesn't speak English and do a lot of faces with her. Now, you've been married before. Yes, 20 years ago I was married. So what's this like? All of a sudden you're married again. Holy mackerel! <laughs> <laughs> it was like for 20 years I dated women and I said, oh, God, who needs with this stuff? And uh, Aggravating? Yeah, you found it aggravating? Yeah, the claustrophobia feeling you get and you think, oh, well, I may meet somebody nicer around the corner if I marry this lady. And that's, uh, but when I, when I met Ksenia, I, that all of that was... Yeah, yeah. Was she familiar with, with your work? Not at all. She thing? didn't know me from a grip. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, she's, uh, I just worked around there, you know, uh -huh. she shouldn't, or was a friend of a friend, you know how people on movies are a friend of a friend? Yeah. She thought that's what I was, a friend of a friend. And you've never been happier? Never. Well, that's good, that's good. Yeah, how about yourself? Uh, I've never been happier myself. <laughs> uh, we're but we never talk about you, huh? No, it's nothing here to talk about. <laughs> no, no women in your life? I have, I have a woman in my life, sure. Okay, good. And uh, I've never been happier. <laughs> That's good. Dude. You kind of whistled there when you left. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, left over from Los Angeles. No, you know what it is. It's because you can do that voice that uh, not many other people can do. Is there here a, a seagull in Los Angeles? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, we're going to do a commercial, and when we come back, uh, I want you to do some more entertaining things. All right. I'll be right here. All right. We'll be back also. Uh, John Biner and I will return to <laughs> John Biner is here. You know, uh, do people, uh, you did a show a few years ago that was a compilation of you, uh, new tape and, and stuff, uh, and, and old Ed Sullivan pieces. Best of Sullivan. Yeah. yeah. You, oh, I don't remember what it was. You were playing Ed Sullivan. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, well, I, uh, I you were did doing an Ed Sullivan. Yeah, of, that's right. Yeah. Of Ed Sullivan, not throughout the, the thing. Yeah, you, now you were actually on his show many, many times. Many times, 22 uh, times I was on the Sullivan show, and I loved it. it did you fun. do your impersonation of him the first time? He loved were? it. Oh, yeah, he yeah. did. In fact, uh, he invited me to go out to uh, Tahoe. Uh, Harris, Bill Harris invited him out with, and he took five or six acts out with, there with him. And I remember one night, I was going to get to uh, Kentucky. <laughs> you talk like that. For those of you who don't know, didn't know it's a cookie. That Sullivan used to talk to the crowd for a few. We have a nice throw through Yugoslavia bears and fucking skaters. <laughs> I'm and sorry, he made his the, living what, doing the, what that. What skaters were those? He had skaters for a <laughs> you asked him to explain, he'd say the same exact thing. But he said the first round of the cookie. And uh, he 
and he made a living talking like that. But I used to do I used to do Ed Sullivan introducing all these acts. I did, and I did one thing. I'd have I'd have, uh, and we're out there live, you know, on the stage on Bill Harris Club and Tal, and I'm doing every night. I do. Uh, I'm here from the Coper. <laughs> Tony Bennett. Now yeah, I want to be around. I do the thing, right? So uh, I'm out there and I'm going. I'm here from the Coper, and he came into the spotlight because he'd stand off on the stage. He came into the spotlight. He said, "Wait a minute, Biner. I don't say Coper. I say Copa. Now do it right." And he started walking away. And I said, "All right. I hear from the Copa." And he turned. He said, "That's better." He started to walk away, and I said, Cabana. <laughs> <laughs> he loved it. Fell down laughing. Now, the, now the first time you were on his show, did he? Uh, uh, how did he react when you did the impression? Oh, he loved, he loved it. it immediately. He did. He, did he come over fact, to you? And what kind of guy was he in person? Uh, he was. He was the same. Same guy. He's same guy. In fact, I was from Baldwin, Long Island at the time, and I said, and he said, "Where are you from, Biner?" <laughs> and I said, "Baldwin, Baltimore." <laughs> I said, no, Baldwin, Long Island. And here from Baltimore. <laughs> he was like that. Yeah. Very much so. It's but a, a good egg. I liked him a lot. Yeah, he's a real uh, uh, intriguing fellow. I mean, even, I don't want to say even more so now, but I mean. Uh, <laughs> He but, could be. But you know what I mean? The, the longer it, it, uh, we get away from the, the time that he yeah, shows the way on the air, he was you wonder. Yeah, yeah, you, you wonder yeah. how the... You'd be off st backstage, you had all the acts, all the dogs, and, and the jugglers, and everybody yeah. be standing around, you know, and then things, he'd be walking around. Was he the, ever in chaos, or did he always think he had it pretty well under control? Well, he... He'd, he'd think everybody else was making mistakes, sort of, you know? He'd say, yeah. well, he's over there. He's not. He's over here. Well, why is he over there? How come he's not there? We'll, stay, we'll sit down. Well, you know. uh, let's see. Oh, you're the, uh, the Black Cauldron. Yes. Very well. You play... Yeah. Uh, Gurgi. Gurgi. And also, your television program is now syndicated on uh, uh, over-the-air television. Well, that's true. Right. Yeah. And that's Gurgi, in case anybody wants to know. Congratulations Thank on you your marriage much. and everything else. Thank, Thank you. See you again, John. We'll be right back, Jack. Hey, thanks again, John. My thanks also to Terry Forrester. Julia Nixon was scheduled to be on the show. We ran out of time. She will be here tomorrow night. Please come back then. Have a nice evening, folks. Thank you very much. Good night.